Vidak Ali by Naguib Mahfuz. Here's some author information. Naguib was born on December 11, 1911 in Cairo, Egypt. He published 34 novels, more than 350 short stories, dozens of manuscripts, and five plays over the course of his seven-year career. Most of his works are set in Cairo and deal with politics. Naguib died on August 30, 2006. Here's some background information. Egyptian culture is very similar to Islamic culture. Literature covers various topics such as feminism and tradition. The most important scientific study is Egyptology, the archaeology of that surrounding area. Egyptian religion, 90% Muslim with the majority being Sunni Muslim. 9% is Coptic Christian and the rest is different types of Christianity. Setting of Madak Alley, the place is Cairo, Egypt, a back alley. The time is around the end of World War II, and that's 1944 to 1945. Cairo during the 1940s was following the invasion by Italy. The Italian population in Cairo was kicked out, their possessions stripped. The war did not touch Cairo for the most part, with the closest battlefield being El Alamein. Even though independent, in 1922, Egypt was occupied by the British until 1952. Summary. Madak Alley depicts the fictional lives of its many residents. Each chapter focuses on a different person and how they affect each other. Each person has their own selfish desires and no one in the book is a saint. For example, Kershaw focused on his gluttony for hashish and lust for three young boys. Hamida was focused on appearance and vanity and in the end became a prostitute. The only person who gets a happy ending is Ridwan. The rest fall to some form of misfortune. Here are some readings. Page 44. He saw Sheikh Darwish coming from the Mosque of Hussein. They met at the end of the alley, and Abbas moved to greet him. The old man, however, pointed his forefinger at him warningly, and, gazing from behind his gold-rimmed spectacles, he said, Never go out without a hat. I warn you against going bareheaded in weather like this, in a world like this. Young men's brains are liable to dissolve into steam and fly off. This situation is well known as Alamasa, and the meaning of this in English is tragedy, and it is spelled T-R-A-G-E-D-Y. Page 272. Some consider that such tragedies afflicting apparently blameless people are signs of revengeful justice, the wisdom of which is beyond the understanding of most people. So you will hear them say that if the bereaved father, for example, thought deeply, he would realize his loss was just a punishment for some sin either he or his forebears committed. Yet surely God is more just and merciful than to treat the innocent as the guilty. Is this an existentialist novel? There are many characters in Madak Alley. Each person's morals are twisted with the exception of Rudan. This is an existentialist novel because it shows the absurdity of life and that everyone's choices have consequences. Everyone in the novel is consumed by some sort of greed, which led to their immoral decisions and misfortunes as punishment. Husseini went beyond materialistic or shadow values as he focused on religion and therefore he received happiness in the end. The end.